Coming up, Korea's Kang Chi Young looks to continue her unbeaten 2019. The Netherlands mixed team pair go for gold in front of their own supporters. And Brady Ellison takes aim at the world title. We're in the Netherlands for the 2019 Hyundai World Archery Championships, the largest in the event's 88-year history with around 600 participants. It's Recurve Sunday and the beautiful, historic city of Sehertogenbosch in the south of the country is our host. The two top seeds met in the women's gold medal match. Favourite Kang Chi Young has been in imperious form this year. She's unbeaten so far in 2019. Lei Chenying from Chinese Taipei knew she had a huge task ahead of her to beat the Korean world number one. Kang Chai Young is unbeaten in international competition this year and she's trailing in this gold medal match. Into the 10. It's the first individual final for Lei as a senior. She took bronze at the Honda Archery World Cup final oh. in Mexico City in 2015. But she's in the lead here. Just dropped that one into the eight, and another big opportunity for Lei here. There was a long hold again. <laughs> Two eights there. One from each of them. Kang can put this out of reach. Oh, and she does with a 10 to finish. Sandwiching an eight with two tens will be enough to level the match. And a 10 from Lei will give her confidence going into the third set here, but we are all square. There's two eights in the middle, quite interesting. There's the one from Kang and then Lei with an opportunity. Lei gets an eight on the left and then Kang shoots a 10 to level things up. So it will be Kang Chi Young to shoot first on your left. So I actually never noticed this about Kang's form before, but I want you to watch her eyes as she draws her bow. So it looks like she uh, looks up a little bit as she's coming back down and then she focuses her sight on the target. Quick draw there and that goes into the 10. But just like that, see how things can turn around. Another 10 from Kang puts this one to bed. In the nine. So the door opened a little bit to share the points, but Lee needs a 10 here to level the score in this set. Well, 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 another cracker. So here we go, the start of the fourth set of this gold medal match. And things are all square. Nine. 
Well, every time a nine is shot in this match, you think it's an opportunity for the opponent. In this match, you have to be shooting tens. And that just speaks to the high quality of shooting that we're watching here. Well, a little bit of a long hold there, great grouping. Does that have anything to do with the fact that a cloud moved out of the way of the sun midway through her draw there? It's very, very bright all of a sudden, and I think it might have had an effect. Well, we saw the light changing again as Lei took her shot. Kang could put this set out of reach with a 10. But it's another nine, and the grouping is all together on the left. Well, it's a tiny grouping. It could just be because the visibility changed a little bit. The sun came out, and maybe it changed the string alignment or something like that. And another eight, all left from Lei. So the points do go to Kang. She's on five. She needs six for the gold medal. Koreans in the crowd. There's coach uh, Oh Sun Tak and then uh, Jin Tech Kim, the physio of the team, <laughs> and also with Kim Jong Ho, the compound archer, who did amazing in his competitions. I'm watching over, well, you can see as we look down the range the shadow coming over late to get us underway in the fifth set. <laughs> Bit of pressure now on Kang. That's on the 9-10 line, so she'll get marked up with a 10. It's actually marked as a 9, but I'm sure that will go to a measure. That is a definite 9. Was just clear nine as well. The coach was just telling her to keep shooting right until the end, keep pulling. Oh, that's a 10, and that's a definite 29. The first nine has been marked for a measure for Kang. If she shoots a 10, that will become crucial. She shot another nine, so the set points will definitely go to Lei, even though that first arrow could be marked up to a 10. Can can only get to 28 points, and after the regulation five sets, we are all square at five set points apiece, and we will go into a tiebreaker. Crowd being pretty entertained here. So here we go for the shoot off for the gold medal in the recurve women's individual. Sudden death. Kang shoots a seven. Lei Ching Yin needs an eight to win. Yeah! Oh, she gets a nine! What a fabulous match that was! Lei Chen Ying takes the world title of 2019 in a shoot off. Um,其实我觉得我知道对手是七分剑，所以我那时候没有特别想什么，因为其实特不能特别松懈我的精神状态，所以我还是很专心的把我最后一支剑做完。it was the premier matchup of the women's teams in the gold medal match, Korea versus Chinese Taipei. Korea has claimed 13 out of the last 20 world crowns. Chinese Taipei was still searching for their first recurve world title. The Koreans made an uncharacteristically slow start to this match. Their opponents seized on this and by the end of the second set, they were already four set points ahead. Korea needed a big score in the third set if they were to haul themselves back into the contest. And they got it. Chinese Taipei couldn't respond this time. The pressure remained on Korea in set four and it seemed to affect them. Again, failure to hit the center of the target was costing them dearly. 
Chinese Taipei were in a commanding position and they knew what they had to do to win. Peng. Shoots a 10 to take the world title for Chinese Taipei and a look at the joy. China took on India in the men's team final. The Indian squad had already qualified for the Olympics and a podium was a fantastic achievement. But what they really wanted was gold because India had never had one at this championships before. The scores were locked after the first set, but China really hit their stride in set two, finishing with three tens and claiming the two set points to take the lead in the match. India made a valiant effort to get back into the contest in the next set and hit a respectable 56. That left the door open for China though. Oh, that called a 10 from the coach, but that looked like it snuck into the nine. So the match went into a fourth set, but it was a disappointing end to the contest from India. China sealed a comfortable win in the end and claimed the men's team world title. China are the recurve men's team world champions. Still to come, all eyes on home favourites Chef Vandenberg and Gabriela Bayardo in the mixed team final. We recap Olympic qualification in Bosch. and could the USA's Brady Ellison live up to his favourite tag in the men's gold medal match. There was plenty for the home fans to shout about in the mixed team final as the Netherlands faced Korea. Chef van der Berg and Gabriela Bayardo hoped to harness all of that positive energy for what was bound to be a tough contest against Kan Che Young and Lee Woo Suk. After losing the first set, the Dutch pair improved in set two with the backing of a raucous home crowd. Despite that, the Koreans took this one as well, dropping only a single point on their final arrow. Vandenberg and Bayardo needed something special in the third set if they were to have a chance of claiming the world title. But it didn't materialize. Remarkably, the Korean pair also faltered. Wow. What on earth is going on here? And a nine from Lee. They only lead by a point here. Overall, it was a valiant effort from the home favourites, but Korea was soon back in the old routine. He shot a 10 to finish this off in style. These World Championships in Sohertogenbosch didn't just award world titles, but also 56 of the 128 quota places for the archery tournaments at the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games. This could be the biggest match of an archery career, and it's not in the finals arena. It's here on the World Championship Eliminations Field. It's a frantic, tense and loud 20 minutes. 16 teams, eight matches. And half of them will win quota places to the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games. The quota matches take place at the same time. There's no frills, no decoration, with one prize on the line, a ticket to Tokyo. The atmosphere was electric, and the results, well, some were quite unexpected. Kazakhstan's men shocked the USA, shooting the best scores of any team on the field. Emotion flooded from the Ukrainian women when they booked their Olympic tickets. <laughs> but the biggest crowd was there to see the championship host qualify its men's team to Tokyo. I feel amazing. I, uh, I feel like I'm 20 kilos lighter right now. All the weight dropped from my shoulders. We have less stress in the upcoming uh, year or so that uh, we can now fully prepare for the Olympics instead of uh, always trying to get that ticket. 
Olympic Games, Olympic medal. This is a goal for everybody. We just live for it, for Olympic Games. Korea, Great Britain, China, Australia, Chinese Taipei, India, Kazakhstan and the Netherlands won the men's team tickets to Tokyo. Korea, Russia, Great Britain, Germany, Chinese Taipei, Belarus, Ukraine and China secured women's team quotas to the next Olympics. Eight more places were won in the individual event, none more important than Bangladesh's Ruman Shana winning his country's first ever Olympic archery quota place. Really so happy and I proud I think all are proud of me and actually I am forgot I'm so happy. In total 20 countries booked their places to the games at the 2019 Hyundai World Archery Championships. The journey to Tokyo is officially underway. There was no doubting the favourite going into the men's individual gold medal match. The USA's Brady Ellison has been in scintillating form in the Archery World Cup this year. Opponent Cairo Anwar Mohammed from Malaysia is ranked 22 in the world, but this is the World Championships and anything can happen. This for gold, Brady Ellison will get us underway. Yeah. And two eights in different spots on the target here. Eye control. Yes. Ellison finds the center of the target. Coach Kisikli said eye control, and you could see that focus in his eyes. Getting closer to the 10, and a little adjustment from the Malaysian. 27 set is the target. Well, Anwar go even closer. A 10 to level things up. A 10 is what Carl Anwar Muhammad of Malaysia gets. And he stayed in touch with Brady Ellison. 27 apiece. 1-1 one, one in set points after the first set. Ellison shooting his second arrow into the 10. Anwar Muhammad needed a 10 to share the set points. And that's just what he got. Ellison will shoot first again with everything level in the gold medal match. Ellison took a bronze at the World Championships back in Turin in 2011, one of the years he dominated the World Cup circuit. Anwar Mohammed, though, has no pressure on him at all. Good shot from Brady Ellison. Oh. He seems like he hesitates just at the end there and he doesn't really follow through as well as Brady does. Yep. Well, it looks like he's dialed into the centre here. A 29 for Brady Ellison. Muhammad needs a 10 again to level the score in the set. Oh, and he gets it. This is incredible stuff from the Malaysian athlete. Needing 10s to share the set points in the first two sets. And he nails them. It's two apiece after two sets. Ellison has never won an individual world title. Here, he gets his eye in 
and shoots the X-ring. But this next one is right next door, suggesting that he's really dialed in here. Yep. Next. The suggestion at the end of the previous set was that he dialed in. That 10 confirms it. Oh, oh, Muhammad perhaps opening the door a little bit here. Strong ball on and strong eye focus. But an eight? This win. Okay. Alison okay, giving Muhammad an opportunity. All square with one arrow to go in the third set. Strong, Brady. Strong ball. A little wobble of the back yep. elbow yeah. there, but that's his closest arrow so far. He's, he has so much control over his bow, and even though he had a slight wobble there, he was able to pull it back together and shoot a perfect shot. Oh, oh again, he needed a 10. That's the third time in a row. This is a gold medal match happening right in front of your eyes. That is of the greatest order and has the greatest amount of drama. Brady Ellison is in a real battle here. He's trying to keep his focus and he'll shoot first at the start of the fourth set as these two men duel it out for the gold medal. That's good, 9.5. Loading, really strong ball. Yep. Awesome shot. He just needs to keep doing that. And Mohammed, he just needs to control his pressure and do the same. So a 10 to take the set points for Ellison. I control. Yep. And finally, there's some space between these two athletes. Muhammad can only get a 28, but again, for the fourth set in a row, his third arrow has gone into the 10 ring. He's shot a 28 there, but Ellison went one better with a 29 and collects both set points in the fourth set to go 5-3 up in this gold medal match. Can he apply some more pressure with a 10 here? Solid. He's matched him. It'll do. Ten. A 10 puts a little bit of pressure on the American. That has gone into the eight. A nine here from Muhammad, and he draws level on set points. Oh, he's got a nine, he's got a nine. Ellison can't get that 28, and we're gonna be at five set points apiece. And it's a nine to finish. Ellison shooting two nines and an eight in the fifth set when he had the whole thing in his hands. It's five set points each. Ellison has handed back points to Mohamed Anwar there. Strong. Trust it. Yeah! Oh, in the X ring. What a shot! from Brady Ellison. Oh, and when the pressure was on, 
Cairo Anwar Mohammed dropped it in the eighth, but boy, oh boy, did he give Brady Ellison the battle of his life as Ellison claims his first world title. He is the Hyundai World Archery Champion of 2019. You know, that match was a lot tougher inside the arena than I thought it was going to be condition-wise. Luckily, it went the way I needed. I got the one good arrow I needed in the shoot-off, and that's what it came down to. Recurve Sunday at the 2019 Hyundai World Archery Championships certainly did not disappoint. It's been a brilliant day for Chinese Taipei, making history in the women's team final, having Lei Chen Ying crowned world champion, Taipei's first individual gold medalist in history. There was a gold for China in the men's team event and Korea topped the podium in the mixed team event. Last but by no means least was the perfect 10 that Brady Ellison shot to be crowned recurve men's world champion.